friends, it's Grace Leia here, and I'm at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum standing in the Cox Young Scientist Center because we are thinking of all of our young scientists learning from home this week. Now, we have to talk about a word that's been going around that can be a little scary. That word is pandemic. Now, students, before you get nervous, let's talk about two organizations that are giving us factual information and that are credible sources. First, the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, works 24 seven to protect America from health, safety, and security threats, both foreign and here in the US. Now, whether disease starts here at home or abroad, the CDC fights disease and supports communities and as citizens to do the same. Additionally, when diplomats met to form the United Nations in 1945, one of the things they talked about was setting up a global health organization. WHO, or World Health Organization's Constitution, came into force on April 7, 1948. That's the date we now know as World Health Day. Listen, friends, both of these organizations are working around the clock to provide us factual information that we can use to protect ourselves and each other from illness. Now, right now, we are social distancing. What does that mean? We are purposefully putting distance between ourselves, our friends, and others, and staying away from places that we're used to, like school or the movies. Why are we doing this, students? We are doing this to keep each other safe. In a nutshell, that's an idiom for you. We are doing this to keep ourselves from spreading the novel COVID-19, also known as coronavirus. Coronavirus is sounding alarms everywhere, all over our world. We have quarantines, travel bans, flight suspensions, and locked transportation and tourism. This is really affecting us globally because there's a shutdown on the mass production and shipments of goods. You may have noticed our grocery stores are a little bit more chaotic than usual. Now, the CDC has warned that we need to be ready to act if the virus spreads rapidly across communities in America. The word pandemic can cause a ton of fear. Students, don't panic. We know you may be nervous right now with all that is changing around you and all of the different information you're seeing on a variety of social sites. Do your own research. Fact check everything you are seeing and trust credible sources such as CDC and World Health Organization. So once we identify a pandemic, our goal is to not contain it, but stop it. And guess what? You can be part of the solution. We can face our fears with science. Here is up-to-date information from the CDC on what we can do to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. You can stay home from work. You can stay home from school like we're already doing and other activities especially when you already feel sick or have COVID-19 symptoms. These can include fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. Keep away from other people who are sick or are showing these symptoms. Limit close contact with others as much as you can. Be at least six feet away. Socially distance yourself. Continue practicing everyday preventative actions. Cover coughs and sneezes. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer that contains 60% alcohol. Clean frequently touched surfaces and objects daily using regular household detergent and water. Use a separate room and bathroom 
you prepared for any members in your household who are sick, if possible. Stay in touch with others by phone or email. I know that we're socially distancing, but we still have communities to help us during this time, friends. If you live alone and start to show symptoms of the COVID-19 virus, please reach out to family, friends, and ask health providers to check on you during an outbreak. Stay in touch with family, friends, and others who you know have chronic medical conditions. Young scientists, it's so important that you take care of your emotional health during this time. It can be incredibly stressful to see what's going on around you, and you may respond differently to this stressful situation than others, and that's okay. Talk with someone you trust about what's going on. Find a way to stay calm. Maybe that's doing yoga. Maybe it's doing an activity like you'll find in the link of this video to journal what you are feeling through writing or through creative drawing and expression. We want to reassure you that you will be safe. We're in this together and we will get through this. From all of us at the Las Vegas Natural History Museum, stay brilliant and stay kind. We'll see you soon, scientists.